Niaje watu wangu? Leo nilikuwa nataka niongelele biashara. Biashara za hapa US na biashara za Kenya. Na sana sana na focus kwa nini biashara mob za Kenya zina collapsing compared to biashara the same za hapa US zina thrive. Leo nataka ku focus na point moja inaitwa discipline. Na by the way nitafanya parts kadhaa about biashara. Hopefully mtalan kitu kutoka kwa hii. Kitu ya kwanza nilikuwa nataka ku focus on ni discipline. Kila biashara lazima ikuwe na good business principles. Biashara ikikosa good business principles haiwezi succeed. Eh? Yeah? Kitu ya kwanza yenye inaangushanga mabiashara mob Kenya ni kitu inaitwa madeni. Madeni. Yaani watu hawajui ku separate between urafiki na biashara, familia na biashara. Ndio unakuta sasa mazee juu wewe uwezi kuwa serious ikikuja kwa biashara yako. Unapata unaanza kukopesha watu vitu zako. Unakopesha 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 wasio wanakataa kulipa. The next thing unajua biashara imeanguka, ime collapse. Kwa sababu ulikopeshana, ulikopeshana vitu zako ukapatia watu, watu wa wako reliable, watu wa huku vet, wengine ni familia, wengine ni mabeste. Actually watu wengine wanakuaga na ile kiwivu ya akiona umefungua biashara yako na unaendelea poa. Watu kaa hao wanaamua tu kukuangusha. One of the ways kukuangusha ni wanakuja wanakukopa na wanajua hawatalipa. Ama unakopesha wase kwa sababu unasikia unasikia kinini yani unamsikilia ile yani unamhurumia unamhurumia juu na safara unamkopesha na ni biashara yako biashara lazima ikuwe na discipline mtu wangu awezi run biashara na ma feelings awezi run biashara na emotions Biashara inahitaji ina principle juu pale hivyo usipokuwa na principle kitu inaitwa unaona ukiangalia biashara umeenda ukanunua hizi vitu zako umetumia capital kwa hiyo biashara ndio ukuje ulete hapo uzie watu urudishe capital yako na utengeneze ka profit mtu wangu ukikuaga wewe ni unafanya kazi ya basari unafanya kazi ya msaada biashara yako iwezi simama tukuje hapa US the same same thing unapata Watu by the way wanakopa hapa US. Watu wanaenda wanaenda kwa biashara na wananunua, wanachukua wanachukua wanaenda wanapewa services na goods on credit. Lakini ile, ile, ile kitu iko hapo ni kuna structure ya deni gani mtu wa biashara anakupatia. Juu enda pale hivi unaona msia anaingia, anaingia pale Balenciaga. Ananunua handbag, eh? Hardbag ya 5000 US dollars. Hiyo ni 500000 Kenya shillings. Eh? Na unaona huyu mtu hata ana pesa sasa hiyo. Lakini huyu mtu akienda pale anaitishwa what is your method of payment? Ana swipe kakadi. Mtu wa mtu wa shop hataki kujua kama huyu mtu atalipa deni ama hata lipa deni as long as huyu mtu ame swipe ka credit card. Mtu wa biashara amelipwa pesa yake. Alafu huyu mtu amenunua ako na deni. Deni yake ni, ya, ni yake na lending na lending facility na hiyo lending company yake. Kama ni bank, kama ni nini amechukua hiyo credit card, mtu wa biashara ana mtu wa biashara amelipwa. Sasa wewe na madeni zako mtadeal na bank zako. So unaona wase wanauza. Baadhi wanauza na madeni, watu wengi wananunua na madeni, wananunua na credit card. Lakini credit card inalipa mwenye mwenye biashara. Alafu deni inabaki na ni ule msi anabai customer na bank yenye imemkopesha hii yenye iko na hiyo credit card yake. Na hapo ndio tunaanguka mzee. Hapo ndio tunatupa rada. Tunapata hapo mzungu wezi enda tu ambia mzungu ati wezi nipatie hii nitakurudishia kesho. Hakuna wezi fanya kitu kama hiyo. Kwa sababu wanajua principles business principles wanajua nimenda 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 kuchukua hii stock na pesa yangu na nisiporudisha hiyo pesa nimechukua hii stock mzee biashara yangu haiwezi last na hiyo ndio kitu watu wengi wa Kenya hawaelewi 
Sawa. The other thing ni consistency. Yani ka discipline iko. Unakutaka hapa US biashara inafaa kufunguliwa saa mbili ifungwe, saa mbili asubuhi ifungwe 8 pm. Na ukweli, hiyo biashara itafunguliwa 8 asubuhi na ifungwe 8 pm jioni. Ukishow up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, masani hiyo hiyo. Biashara za Kenya. Mingi hazina discipline bana. Mtu anafaa kufungua, anafaa kufungua biashara saa mbili. Wewe customer mloyo unashow up up saa mbili. Biashara hakuna kitu imefunguliwa. Hakuna mtu. Wameka hapo simu na jaribu kupiga simu. Hiyo simu hata Simu hata ingia, kuna mtu anachukua. Consistency inajua, inanifanya mimi kama hapa customer hapa US ninajua ile biashara inafunguliwa ngoa this business hours. Na nikishow hapa hapo watakuwa wamefungua. Hapa Kenya consistency hakuna. Ndio unapata mzee customer alikuwa anakuja kununulia anaenda mahali kwingine. Jua una discipline ya kuweka masaa na consistency. Kitu kingine maze ni service. Ukienda hapa US unapata biashara service na peana. Ni consistency. Consistent design una show up Monday. Service wanakupatia. Bidhaa unanunua ziko consistent. Uki uki, uki buy kitu upate ai hii kitu si vile wame describe unarudisha. Unarudisha wanakurudishia pesa yako. Hakuna hata kuagiu. Sajina hata unanunua tu kitu refund unapewa. Una, unanunua kitu ukienda home una, unajaribu unaona hii 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 ni nini? Unapeleka, unarudisha. Unarudisha wanakurudisha pesa yako. Bas. Kenya my friend. Man leo unatritiwa vizuri. Jumepata mtu na mood mzuri. The next day ukikuja maze aish Hakuna consistency. Yule jamaa alikuwa amefurahi leo leo amejam. Vile anakutreat na madharau, unacho sangine ukinunulianga mtu sana mpaka anakuzoea anaanza kukudharau. Hakuna consistency hapo ndio unajua loyal customer uriwadiwa. Hapa Kenya by the way, hapa US wana reward loyal customers. Ukikuwa gawani mtu unanunuaga sana, unaweka kwa level fulani, unaanza kupewa ma discount. Unaanza kupewa ma benefits. Kenya wapi? Nunulia mtu hata ni nini? Hata suit yaweze kupatia ukule. Alafu kitu kingine ambacho unakuta, hakuna consistency na goods ulipewa jana. Quality ya goods ulipewa jana na leo ni very different. Kama jana ulipewa vitu za Germany, leo unapata quality ya China. Hakuna consistency. Service ulipewa jana si the same na leo. Na hapo ndio unakuta maze unaanguka juu hauwezi yeka customer hizi kwa mloyo juu hau reward loyalty ya customer Uki, ukiona customer maze ame kwa mloyo una reward bana na hapo ndio unakuta business hapa US zina thrive na business Kenya the same same thing zina collapse juu customer ataenda mali anatritiwa poa u customer ataenda mali biashara iko consistent Services ziko consistent. Goods ziko consistent. Quality ya goods bana. Eh? Part 2. Tuongelele difference nyingine. 